and he knows me like a I do. I'm so in love with you. Mama's got a sweet spot, daddy never sleeps at night. Hi, I am Lisa the Ukulele Fool, foolishly hoping that you have folks that you can jam with, either virtually or in person, because this song is great for jamming. Well, as you can see in the lesson overview here, you can do this at a really basic level. Learn the three chords that you need to know for this song. Do it with the island strum and you're set to go. You could be more adventurous and add some single down strums like I do. I'll show you how to do that in the interludes and I'll put that up front, kind of out of order here in the song. But if you want to be even more adventurous, I've got some one finger chord transformations you can do as well as a slide. So let's get to it. Oh, and there's a history nerd section and I'm gonna put that at the end of the play along. It is my sincere hope that I help you on your ukulele journey. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell because it spreads the ukulele love. I want to give a shout out to Devin Scott, whose performance of this song inspired me at the Memphis Ute Fest. And I also want to give a shout out to my patron, Fran Welsh from Down Under, that said, Hey, I'm looking for this song. Could you possibly do it? You need a G chord for this song. I play it with the bunny foo foo fingers here on the C and A string on the second fret. My ring finger takes the E string on the third fret, but there are more ways to play a G chord. I'll link my playlist up here of some of my tips and tricks. There's a G chord uh, short one minute. Uh, speaking of short one minutes, D, you need D and I use these three fingers all stacked up in the second fret, definitely have to get my head stopped touching here with my hand so that there's room for all those. And there are more ways to play D too that you'll find in that playlist. You also need a C chord, and I'm sure you already know it. If you are comfortable with the island strum, be my guest in island strumness. adventurous. Try what I call the super active island strum. We are going to double up on the first two beats and instead of just going down, down, up, we're going to go down, up, down, up. So let's play a G chord and let's just do that a few times together really slowly. I'll start out slowly and then I'm going to gradually boost the temperature, temperature, the tempo. And so just come along with me. One, two, here we go. Down, up, down, up. I'm going to have a little practice session with the chords from the song on there, but I wanted to talk about the interludes for folks that are just doing the island strum. In order to break things up, one of the most simplest ways to do that is just to do simple down strums. And what do I mean by breaking things up? It's a hoot and a half to just play the same strum throughout the piece, lock in and do it. I get that. But if you're having any sort of audience considerations, that gets kind of what I call ear numbing. It's just the same thing over and over. It's kind of repetitive. So break it up with a down strum. There are two interludes with the song, and I'm going to use some simple down strums and then a little fun little twist on the first one. So she goes in and out and in and out. So I'm doing six down strums on the in and out. It's not quite timed perfectly with the out. In and out and in and out. In and out. When we get to 
the last portion here, I'm going to double time it and I'm going to put up strums in there to double time it. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and like that. It's all on a G, so no worries on this hand. Let's just practice that together really quickly together. One, two, here it goes. In and out and in and out. And in and out, and in and out. Let's do that again, and this time we're going to go into a, um, a D chord because you've got to go back to the chorus. So let's practice that. One, two, and here we go. She goes in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in and out. And So, went back into the super active strum on a D. There's another little interlude in there, and I do it like this. Squeeze me, come on and squeeze me. Nice, huh? I love that. I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to take my G shape using these three fingers, and I'm going to move it half step lower by moving everything towards the headstock, just one fret. Just lock it in place and move it. Then I do just one down strum in this quasi G flat shape. And then I slide everything up. And I just keep everything locked into place. Strings are depressed. And, and move everything up. And then I throw in some down strums so it goes she goes, squeeze me, three, four, squeeze me, and then I go into C. Actually, I tend to do an island strum on that first E. And then I go into the super active. But that's just, that's just me. Whatever works for you, you could just stay on island strum or stay on super active. Either one. Let's just try that together. One, two, and here we go. She goes, squeeze me, come on and squeeze me, come on and squeeze me like you do, someone loves you. One, two, let's do it again. She goes, squeeze me. Come on and squeeze me. Come on and squeeze me like you do. I'm so in love with you. So even if you are not wanting to do that super active strum or any of the finger transformations I'm going to show you next, give that a try, Peter Townsend. What a guitar player, and he did some really cool little transformations on his chord for the song, and we can do those too, and it adds a lot of interest. And you can apply these to other songs as well. In fact, check out my White Liar by Miranda Labert. I've got those chord transformations in that song too. All these chord transformations are in the chorus, as well as the intro. We're going to take our G chord, and I just maintain the same shape, and plunk my pinky down. You don't have to pick up this finger if you don't want to. I just and place it down here. It's changed our G into a G sus4. So play back and forth with that. The way it fits into the strumming is we are going to go down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, switch up. So just adding it once in our super active strum, we can pick up a finger on the D chord, picking up the ring finger on the E string, and it sounds like this. It happens with the exact same placement in the strum as we did with the G. Same 
thing can happen on the C chord. We're going to add a finger, like we did with the G, adding a finger. We're going to add index finger on the first fret of the E string. Let's layer those in and put them with the chords from the chorus. Let's work on the G first. It happens in the very last line of the chorus. Let's do one super active island strum on the C, and then we're going to do four Gs. One, two, one, two, ready, begin. <laughs> we have it on a D and we do that D super active island strum twice. Super slowly, deliberately, super deliberately. One, two, here we go. One, two, do that again. line of the chorus is where we do it on the C. It happens twice, so let's practice that again at a nice deliberate speed. One, two, here we go. One, two, do it again. through the box diagram of the chorus. The chords that are in red are the ones that get that transformation. I've got the transformations all put up there on you so you can pause and take a look and practice those. And let's do it again at a very deliberate pace. And one, two, here we go. <laughs> There's a lot of words going on in there, and if you do something special and you do it all the time, it might not be so special. So kind of holding it reserved for when there's less lyrics, less activity going on there with the message of the song. Let's do it again. One, two, here we go. Before we dive into the play along, I just wanted to share my shirt with you. 
Isn't that great? I wish I knew where I got it because I'd share it with you down in the description box below. Speaking of the description box down below, there are timestamps down there for all the teaching sections. And there's also information about my Patreon site. Please consider joining me on Patreon if you'd like all my chord charts. I have other rewards like live sessions as well. And you're also supporting my charity efforts. So please and thank you. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Mama's got a squeeze box she wears on her chest. And when daddy comes home, he never gets no rest. Cause she's playing all night. And the music's all right. Mama's got a squeeze box, daddy never sleeps at night. Well, the kids don't eat, and the dog can't sleep. There's no escape from the music in the whole damn street. Cause she's playing all night, and the music's all right. Mama's got a squeeze box, daddy never sleeps at night. She goes in and out and in and out, in and out and in and out, cause she's playing all night, and the music's all right. Mama's got a squeeze box, daddy never sleeps at Squeeze me, come on and squeeze me, come on and tease me like you do, I'm so in love with you, mama's got a squeeze box, daddy never sleeps at night, she goes in and out and in and out, in and out and in How'd you do? I'd love to hear about your musical journey in the comments below. Please let me know. Oh, welcome to the history nerds section. This is a favorite of my patrons. Thanks to all my patrons for supporting my work. I really, really appreciate you. Hey, so are you thinking like, is that just me or is this song like talking about something else? Oh yeah, it is. How do we know? Well, the liner notes for this song said that this song was written in 1974 for a television special and was going to feature a hundred topless accordion players. And yes, a squeeze box is a concertina, which is like a little, you know, that little accordion thing. It's a squeeze box. A hundred topless accordion players. Um, yeah, well, it didn't happen. And I don't know. I can't make up my mind if I'm happy or sad about that. If, if you're sad about that, I found a topless accordion player on YouTube from 1980. I'll link that video down below and up here in the cards as well. Yeah, so um, if you're thinking this song is about something else, yeah, it is. So, uh, how many people have a concertina? I know that several uh, folks that come with on Friday night, people have mentioned that they have concertinas and playing with those. I, I'd like to give that a try. How about you?